care. We'll run a video call. Why does it look like there's a brawl behind on my Alright. In the city of Neverwinter, a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker asks you to bring a wagon load of provisions to the rough and tumble settlement of Fandlin. A couple of days travel southeast of the city. Uh, Gundren was clearly excited and more than a little bit secretive about his reasons for the trip, saying only that he and his brother had found something big, and that he'd pay you ten gold pieces each for escorting his supplies safely to Barthen's provisions, a trading post in Fandlin. He then set out ahead of you on horse along with a warrior escort named Sildar Hallwinter, claiming he needed to arrive early to take care of some business. You've spent the last few days following the high road south from Neverwinter, and you've recently veered east along the trailboard, the Tribor Trail. Uh, you've had no problems so far, um, but you know that the territory... Uh, can be dangerous with bandits and outlaws uh, lurking, or so rumors say. Um, that being said, Um, that being said, go ahead and introduce your characters, and let's get this moving. I, I, I am Kyrus Thickskin. P please don't hurt me. A Minotaur Bard. Uh, the name's Tron. Uh, I'm a Warforged, and I'm, hope I'm trying to figure out why I'm around you people. I'm Quilzies, the Dragon We are Escher, the Aetherborn monk. We are new to this experience, not sure how to work in this place. I am Sola, the Goliath, new to this area. Not sure how I feel about mating. Well, he wants to... well, what are you saying? To... He wants to uh, ride, drive this carriage. I I don't think I it would be a good idea for me to to, to do that. Anyone else have any ideas about it? Or do I have to do it myself? I guess I'll take charge and uh, drive. Alright. So with the decided driver, uh, you go ahead and make your way up towards the front of the wagon while the rest uh, stay as escorts. Um, driving the wagon is no particular problem. Uh, anyone can do it. It's as simple as cracking the reins whenever you need to move, and that's really it. Um, you know that the wagon that you're carrying has a few hundred gold pieces of value in it, so uh, do you all know how you're proceeding through, or no? I shall take... Okay. Uh... So we have volunteer for lead. Do we have anyone else? I'll be in the middle. center. Okay. I'll, I'll be, be behind Tron. Like, I'll be behind uh, Solar. So you all go ahead and continue to travel for about a half a day. Um, you... As soon as I can find out where the fuck I am. Alright, there we are. Uh, Y'all travel for about half of a day, and um, you're starting to reach where the uh, 
it's starting to become more of a thicket. Like the woods are starting to close in around you and it's getting harder to keep a track of your surroundings. Um, but as you go across a bend, you stumble upon two dead horses sprawled about 50 feet ahead. Um, they're blocking the path and each one has several arrows sticking out of it. Um, what would you guys like to do? I'll, I'll go and uh, investigate. <clears throat> okay. So uh, you... uh, Before I do that, I'll ask if anyone wants to go with me. We'll go to protect you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm just going to keep an eye out as best I can. Alright, so uh, do me a favor and uh, roll me Perception. Please make sure you're rolling in the in-game chat. Awesome. Ooh, yay! Nat 20. Alright, so, uh, as you approach, uh, you notice that the horses clearly belong to the one who hired you. Uh, the arrows are kind of bent and broken, uh, clearly are not the work of a best, uh, a master craftsman. Um, and the uh, where is it? The bodies have clearly been dead for a little while. Um, Stephen, what did you roll? Eight. So, all right. So, while you guys approach even closer, you hear uh, some chittering coming from the woods around you. Uh, you know it's not the sound of a bird. Uh, or local wildlife, as this area generally isn't uh, keen to it, as the wildlife seem to venture away from the roads in fear of hunters or trappers. Sure will, as quickly as possible, notify everybody. Creatures approach! Okay. Uh, hearing creatures are approaching, I'll jolt around to, like, Let's try to see where they could be coming from. All right. So, as you uh, start to search around, you uh, swing around and you see what looks to be like two small figures in the bushes behind, uh, beside where you're standing. As for you, Stephen, uh, you also see the uh, two small bodies uh, start to take aim at you. Is that like one means... of them with a dart? Yep, uh, go ahead and roll for initiative. Uh, I'll yell. Or would I be seeing them like taking aim at us? Or... Uh, uh, you, Those two uh, that you're at are unfortunately too short for you to have a clear view of them uh, behind uh, the hedge. But you can clearly see that they have a uh, wooden instrument of some type and are carrying qu quills on their back. So you could assume they're archers, yes. Or quivers on their back. Okay. I still lay with my trusty scimitar shall charge in for a preemptive return. Uh, everyone, roll for initiative. 21. Okay. Somebody's liking getting nat 20s tonight. Oh, yeah. That wasn't a nat 20. Oh. Still, luck is clearly on your side today. <laughs> yeah? I got a 10. A 20. Set up, I have I a plus a, 4. I got a 5. One minute. Trouble. There we go. Nope, still same result. Still same result. Okay. Uh, you need to put a 1 in between the R and the D. 
has. Yes. D20. Yes. 1D20. And then you add on your initiative modifier, which is your uh, dex modifier plus proficiency, I think. My proficiency. My it's a plus two at your level. Okay, so, I'm working. One moment. Okay, so what's your dex modifier, bro? My dex modifier is plus four. Gotcha. I'll re-roll re that real quick. No. Okay. So, uh, you got a 19. I went ahead and rolled it for you. And the 16. All right. So, um, who are we missing one from? Uh, Quillsies. You got to roll yours. I rolled, a, I rolled a five. I'm on roll 20. Five. All right. So, 21 is, um, I believe, Tyler going first. Yep. Yeah. Uh, with, it doesn't really matter which of the beings near me. That I'm going to target with this, just okay. one of my guests. Are they on both sides of me? Uh, there are two in front of you at the moment. Okay, Remember, you have one minute. Uh, the one on the to the left, I will cast vicious mockery on. Okay, go ahead yeah. and. Uh... Your your mother was a hamster, and your f f father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> Because you have to do that at least once per campaign with Vicious Mockery. Um, so with that being said, it has to succeed uh, Wisdom Save against your terrible, terrible sense of humor. Um, <laughs> yeah, my DC is 13. Alright. Uh, er, failing with a 9 as <gasps> the cringe is so bad, you see the vein on its forehead start to just bulge unimaginably with how bad of a joke that was. Sorry! Uh, as it takes 1d4. 3. And that being said... Um, I need to go to this. 3 psychic damage. I heard that. Um, and I'll just ready my spear two-handed. All right. So, who was next? Uh, I think Quilzy. I rolled a five. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm last. Me then. <laughs> so we have twenty one. Uh, nineteen was uh. I believe that will be me. Yeah, that was you. So what would you like to do? It would be me. I shall attack with my trusty twin scimitar. Alright, so you rush forwards uh, to join into the fray of battle. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Alright, I'm assuming, uh, are you going to aid the uh, Minotaur or the Aetherborn? As you run towards them. The Minotaur. Alright, so you run beside the Minotaur with your scimitars uh, and go to attack the goblin at hand. Uh, do me a favor and roll uh, your attack roll. I'm sorry for that horrible joke, guys. <laughs> it's all good, man. But Okay, so that was your damage roll. Uh, an attack roll is 1d20 plus your uh, 
scimitars aren't versatile, are they? D20 plus what? I think they are. I'm pretty sure they're just finesse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, 1D20 plus uh, 4, I believe. That's what your dex modifier? Or, yeah, dex modifier. And yeah. proficiency bonus, so plus 6. Ooh, so you hit with a 25. Nice. As, uh, do me a f Oh, he already rolled damage. Great. Um, as your blades, uh, What's your strength modifier? Strength modifier. Uh, is your strength 10? Oh. And we lost him. Oh, we lost, <laughs> okay. We lost Quill. No, I am here. Oh, we lost Quill? We lost Quill. Right. Um, so... Yeah, my stuff froze, I'm sorry. You... Bury your blade into the side, uh, splattering blood over the sides of both of you, as it needs to make a saving throw. Go fast. Uh, yes, it needs to make a con save. Okay. So as your blade buries into its shoulder blade and starts splattering people with blood, uh, reaching not only you, but the Minotaur beside you. Um. Spills. Inks a... Okay. Uh, it's... Yeah, so its body, um, just crumbles beneath your blade as it falls, uh, Judging by your hit, you're not sure if it's dead or unconscious. Uh, but it sure as hell isn't getting back up for a little bit. That being said, it moves on to Steven. Asher is going to attempt to waylay the goblin in front of him. Okay, so you go ahead and approach. And start swinging. He gets a 11. Uh, so as you swing, the goblin kind of moves a little bit out of the way as you're, uh, I'm assuming you're using a bow, Seth? My hand. I was just going to punch it in the face. Uh, as your fist... Uh, <laughs> just kind of plummets through the air. Uh, you can kind of feel the whiskers of it. It's a uh, furry little mane as it gets out of the way, but unfortunately, you did not have a clean connect. Uh, that being said, it's Goblin's turn. So, we are going to go ahead and unconscious one. Alright, so... Um, Going to have the goblin in front of you, Tyler. Uh, goes ahead and takes a swing with its own scimitar. Okay. Uh, shit. Wrong shot. Right. Um. Does a twelve hit you? No, it does not. Alright, so as it swings, it buries its blade into the dirt beside your hoof. Uh, unfortunately, it was not able. Uh, that being continuing on, we have the goblin that is fighting uh, the Aetherborn. It goes ahead and swings at you with its scimitar as well, with the shocking 21. As, uh, does that hit you, Steven? I would assume so. It's 21. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> there's, there's some response. Uh, as it buries, uh, its blade into your side. Take a total of, uh, bloop, bloop, and... A 
take a total of six damage. As that hurt like a son of a bitch. We will destroy you for this. Silver lining is, uh, you do not take a bleeding effect as you, your race do I, not bleed. I'm a ghost, basically. Yes. We don't feel pain either. <laughs> You're just fancy. Um, it, it's side note, mildly I missed an attack last round. Don't let me forget that, please. I won't. Because I have the unarmed. Okay. Um, going to go ahead and you're going to have an archer go ahead and take a shot at the Goliath boy that just one-shotted someone. And that guy is to... <laughs> uh, the arrow, unfortunately, flunks beside you as it just barely makes it halfway across the road. This goblin is not a skilled archer. <laughs> uh... If anyone here speaks gibberish, uh, it calls you an asshole. Uh, but if none of you speak goblin, because I honestly don't know, um, you hear a lot of monkeys screeching. Because welcome to Zendikar. Could I make the assumption that they're trash talking us? Um, Even if I don't know goblin. Yeah, you, you, you can make the assumption that it, it, it's something about you. <laughs> Okay. Well, in response, I'll try to be as nice as I can in Minotaur. <laughs> Why okay, would you so attack us? We're just harmless. You're, you hear you're jungle your best, noises but... coming. <laughs> okay, so who's up next? CJ? Or... Yeah, that's me. Okay, so CJ, among the animal noises that you are now witnessing, uh, <laughs> what would you like to do? How did I wind up in this mess? I suppose I'm going to move to the left five feet or so, and I will take a shot with my firebolt at the same goblin that Escher <clears throat> tried to attack. Huh? Does a 19 hit? That does, in fact, Your assistance. Okay. Making sure. I rolled a four for damage. Okay. So as you thunk it, uh, yeah, you were what? Just whipping a stone at it, or? Okay. So as your fire comes crackling across the river, it slams into the side of it. Uh, I'm not sure if Aetherborn can smell. But if they could, then you would definitely smell the singed flesh uh, as it kind of stumbles back a little bit from the force of impact. The little creature. Uh, needless to say, it does not look happy. But it does look hurt. Does it look like With barbecue? That, I pass my turn. <clears throat> Alright. And that being said, on to you, Quilties. Alright, so I'm going to go 15 feet onto the bridge. And I'm going to use my breath weapon on the um, enemy to my right. Okay, so I just want to make sure that we're talking the same one. This one? Yes. Okay. And your breath weapon is 15-foot cone, correct? Uh, or is it 25-foot? Foot, it's a 30-foot range. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to need... Um, going to need the Minotaur and the uh, Solaire both to roll me... What is it? Dex safe throws? Is it I believe. Safe? I believe it's... De yeah, it's a dex safe throw. 14. Okay. Um, what is the DC, Logan? Should be 8 plus constitution plus proficiency bonus. Put 
plus four. So eight, so twelve. So you had a fourteen. You successfully get out of the way. Okay. As um. All right, you definitely get out of the way. You just fucking hit the dirt about the time you hear the crackling of acid leaving this dragon's mouth. For a brief um, second, Escher looks in awe of the beautiful wave of acid. <laughs> it's just pretty. like... Pretty. Pretty colors. <laughs> pretty. Um, unfortunately, the, your, the goblin you were intending to target gets bathed in it, as the other one is lucky enough to get out of the range. Do me a favor, roll me 2d12, or, wait, not 2d12, I gotta actually uh, 2d6. 2D, it's a, yeah, I'm 2d6. Trying to double your damage output, don't let me do that. <laughs> That'd be no I, way, Has the Goblin Eye Vicious Mockery went yet? Oh uh, yes, all I the Goblins went. Uh, I forgot you that it six? has disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay. Um, well, try to remind me of that, that next time. Um, right, there's mockery so, again, I will. Gotta go over to here. So, I'm... you... Uh, Tyler and Paz, you take three damage. So the goblin in front of you is bathed in acid. It, uh... Oof. Yeah, as the uh, two goblins that were there just get melted into puddles by the acid just caking onto them. Uh, it is very clear to you that the equipment that they may have had on them uh, was melted along with it. Oops. <laughs> but they are the good type of dead. <laughs> Until they become slimes. Cold. And they got reincarnated as slimes. <laughs> Huh. I don't oh, think that qualifies as reincarnation. Thing. That being said, back to the top of the ladder. Uh, you guys have one minute for tactic talk. Right. How you. many goblins do we got left, guys? There are two, and they're both two. on the right. Well, I'm going to go mockery again. Okay. I'm going to try to make the worst pun I can. <sighs> One of these days, after we get better equipment, we're going to have to start in editing pun banners above you. Just, yeah. uh, just yeah. scream, hey, ass butt, and chuck something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, does everyone know what they're doing? Because you got 30 seconds. I mean, I'm just going to be yeeting a fireball, or well, firebolt at another goblin again, so... <laughs> I'm going to use my life thing. drain attack on the nearest <laughs> goblin. Okay. Everyone's decided. I'm going to go ahead and yeah. reset my timer and yeah, start at the top of the ladder. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery on the closest goblin to me. And go. Yeah, so that would be the one directly across and in front of the Aetherborn. Uh, Aether. Okay. Do you know why Paladins. God damn, I have messed up the plan. Screw it. Your breath smells like shit. <laughs> and vicious mockery. So, as the Minotaur goes to try to make a terrible joke, it realizes that maybe its brain not function well. <laughs> and uh, just goes to straight up insulting it as it needs to make a DC 14 wisdom save, 13. correct? DC 14. 13. Uh, as it fails, <laughs> being goblins with the negative one wisdom, you know. Um, hey, do me I know a that favor. struggle. Do, oof, my beeper's going off. Do me a favor and uh, roll for uh, damage. Yep. Um, Three. And it has disadvantage on its next attack roll. So... The amount of stupidity processes in its head as it, it's kind of, you kind of see it start to rumble, and then the head just kind of pops 
like a blister. <laughs> um, Wipes that, the blood that, off of his that's face. That's the Thank first you. time that's happened. Just wipes is that the blood why, off his face. Is that why I was told not to make your mama jokes? Uh, yes, that that whatever your mama did is special. Um, <laughs> thank you. Wipes off face. Oh, that being no said, on to you, Taz. <laughs> Keep one of them alive. I want to question it. Uh, Taz, what would you like to do? I shall charge in and save this cowardly bard yet again. Okay. So I mean, I'm you just standing right next to you. Come to beat in the other goblin's face, I take it? Uh... Yeah. I like to handle this. Shall yet again slice with my trusty scimitar. Okay. Uh, are you taking a name slice or no? What's up? Are you aiming for a particular part of it, or are you just doing a attack? Just attacking. All right. Do me a favor and roll me your uh, attack. Uh, that was what the D twenty. One D twenty plus no. six, I believe. Yes. Seven. Oof. So you go to swing at it, and um, unfortunately, your balance is still kind of off from uh, charging, as you just bury your blade in beside it. Uh yeah, you, you have a little nick on your blade from obviously hitting into the branches in the bush next to you, but it's nothing too bad. Um, that being said, we are moving on to next in rotation. Uh, Escher, what are we doing? I would like to run at the goblin and use drain life attack. You would like to drain its life. Do me a favor and... Uh, if I need to roll anything, let me know because I did. I haven't played one of those guys in a year or two. The same as a martial arts attack, except it does a d6 necrotic. Okay. And gives me a d6 regeneration too. Okay. Not that you need it. You seem and to sure be a full health. Would get uh, 23. Uh, 23 does in fact hit. Uh, roll me your d6. Your energy will taste like pleasure. Okay. No, no, no. So, over half, so it's got to do that. Give me one second, please. I'm going to have to just make a whole freaking notebook. Or just yo mama jokes and bad puns and whatnot. Oh god. Um the This by the way is like ripping the soul out of the front of the goblin. <laughs> yeah, so so you you kind of punch into it and you just whenever your hand comes back, you just see the what you can uh specifically Solaire can see just looks like it's pure life force being brought back into your hand as its veins turn black. Uh the uh, Escher looks a bit healthier than he did before. It, whatever you want to call it, an Aetherborn. As I mean, the it. goblin just crumbles to the ground. Uh, uh, let's just call Aetherborn creepy. Okay. Congratulations on your first encounter. What would you guys like to do? Uh, investigate the bodies. Okay, so you walk over to the last remaining body. <laughs> because remember, two of them are goop. <laughs> uh, on it, 
you find an empty scroll case, uh, the black arrows that seem to be the same as the ones that were stuck in a horse, a short bow, and um, do me a... Yeah, that uh, I'm going to say that's what you find on him. Uh, nothing too impressive. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, while everyone else is doing that stuff, I suppose I'll go grab the horse-drawn carriage and move it along across the bridge. Does in I... anyone want the this these bows and ar arrows? No need of weapon, but thank you. Oh, I mean, I should. If nobody wants I the guess. arrows, I shall. I'll take them. I guess I got oh. ran over by the horse-drawn bridge. <laughs> Did you just say the horse-drawn bridge? Don't ask. <laughs> that was one strong <laughs> horse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll give nice. Tron the arrows, and I'll just toss the bow. Or bows in the back of the carriage, and okay. I forgot to tell you guys, my character's five foot. That's it. You are a very short minotaur. But nothing minotaur. Yeah. The minotaur. So you're more like a qualities. cow. Yeah, uh, literally. I am. I have literally the fur pattern of a regular old cow. Okay. I just want to point out that Olaf is taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf's probably taller than me IRL. I just realized Asher is taller than him. I'm eight foot. Okay. I'm taller than all of you. <laughs> um is there anything else you guys would like to do right now? Um how many arrows did I get? Uh you got I'm gonna say twelve arrows. Twelve yeah. arrows. Nice. Uh I think I will also attempt to figure out the path they took to set up this little ambush. Okay, so uh, do me a survival check. Let's see how bad this can turn out. Come on. Could be good, could be very bad. You're not a ranger, I so I can count on you not having a uh, favorite enemy. Uh, I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're out on that one. Two. It could have been worse. You got a two. <laughs> So it could nice. have been worse. You 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 start you walk around the horse and buggy. You you take in the scenery. You inhale deeply, and you're like, "Yep, I knew it. I don't know where the fuck they came from." <laughs> yep, I, I knew it. Like I don't know where I ever where they came from. Where they came. I mean, I can take an attempt and look to where they came from. You'd like? Sure. She okay? Okay, do me your survival roll. I got you some babies making squeaks. Um, you got an eight. So, yes. there are you. Do you at least know where you came from? No? Uh, across that bridge is a good area? Where I got ran over? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's more info than I know. <sighs> I suppose I should try looking around. Like, things Escher is just like, like examining the cart. <laughs> hmm. I guess yes, cart is made of cart. If find anything, I suppose I should look around. I'm prepared for this to not one. I rolled a five. I roll the highest one. <laughs> Let's go. What are you all looking for? He just kind of looks with his head cocked. <laughs> you, so, CJ, you start following you tracks, and I then they lead you like in a track. circle, and you realize that they're just the Minotaur's hub friends. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Minotaur. Should we not be going? I mean... He kind of oh, looks. Me These horses were from... <laughs> what I'm assuming Jesus our employer. Christ. So <laughs> yeah, they're from our employer. Try to find them. 
Yes, but wouldn't they have better chances if we go to town? I mean... They yeah. could send search party. The people in town might n know where these little puddles came from. <sighs> Very well. I oh, well, goblins, although too. yummy, are not smart. Has did you say that you were doing a check too, or no? Town. Yeah, Taz did a check. Okay, what did he get? A six. I rolled a six. So, being where you're at, um, you you start <laughs> searching around, and it leads you to the goblin that's uh, unconscious in front of you, and you realize, hey, this guy's still breathing. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Let's finish him finish off. Him. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish to question it. Can we take him captive? Yes. Okay. I say yes, we feed him we and clothe him. Take him. You are very <laughs> kind, Moose Man. Can I use my animal? Can I use my animal handling proficiency for this thing? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no. Goblins are humanoids, but if you wish to hog tie him, you can. You can I make can him your it. pet. He's a slave. Make him oh, a yeah. slave. Yes. I mean, we if we tie hand. him up in a hog tie and tie a rope to him and just whip him around. <laughs> I mean, technically, that's a homemade flower right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just scare it into telling us what we want to know. I could torture okay. it for you. I'm going to walk up I mean, to like this guy. the little stupid goblinoid and just try to wake it up as best as I can. I don't know, like smacking it in the face repeatedly, just paint brushing it. Whatever I got to do. Okay, so uh, ends, up, ends up knocking him out. I mean, he's already knocked out. First. He could do it again. <laughs> do I me mean, a medicine check because you're just trying to wake it up from unconscious. It's not a high oh, disease. But... No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Sad, and if Escher doesn't get the scare, the goblet. Eleven. <laughs> okay. Could so, worse. Yeah. You, you get to thinking about how your parents woke you up whenever you would sleep in at the farm, and uh, cow you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, sure. You, you pull out this big ass cowbell and just start banging it in yeah. its ear. As the goblin <laughs> shoots up, suddenly awake, <laughs> and then I will bear hug it <laughs> to grapple it. Okay, do me a strength check. 300 pound, 5 foot minotaur. He's got this. Getting that one, bro. Oh, that would be my luck. Do what you want. Okay, <laughs> strength, strength. <laughs> so, 3. 19. Yeah. It's still a contested, so I still have to roll it. Surprisingly, <laughs> you only beat it by 2. <laughs> So this goblin is putting up a fight as it does not want to be held. Uh, and I run around in front of it and like try to death threaten it with my hand to scare it into obeying. I, I was just going to start Jeez. snorting. <laughs> Intimidatingly. Jesus. Uh, Asher, roll me intimidation. I have advantage. Yes, you have advantage because you're the one that punched its lights out. So this is All what right. I'm trying to do now. I mean, Surprise, I, I, bad guys do bad things. Uh, I, I, I don't see you coming up with any any good ideas, Tron. I'd like to I scream mean, in the sense would have been to tie the goblin up. With what? But I am a tie. <sighs> oh, wait, I have rope. Nope. <laughs> I, I cannot scare it, apparently. Even with advantage, I got a one both times. Oh, no. Nope, nope. It's, it's just not scared of me. I should just tie it up. It just sees uh, stars and rainbows and whatnot behind you. Queenie yeah, birds. Uh, you hear pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. <laughs> Stuck playing on repeat. I gotta as... get demonetized. <laughs> I have 50 We're already demonetized. We don't have any sponsors, <laughs> asshole. 
Well, with it in my... With it in a giant hug with me, I'm just going to start snorting angrily in its ear. And I try to... Going to my, real question. Are you going I'm to rape it, or are you trying to scare it? <laughs> I'm trying to scare it. <laughs> You're just deeply confused, staring at the goblin like... <laughs> It's like you just sit there, and I just shake my back, just go, Ah, goblin smells. I do have 50 feet of rope in my inventory. Reminds me of the farm. <laughs> After making it mildly uncomfortable for a few minutes, it, it, it speaks up, and it asks, What do I have to tell you to get this creeper off of me? <laughs> oh, I was going to try to roll to intimidate it. Can I just call the damn barn up? Tell us where your goblin village is. Oh. Take us to your leader. <laughs> Would you guys like to uh, take us to your leader? <laughs> what questions are you asking it? I mean, there is be, I, the I owner know. of the objects. <sighs> Wait, is it speaking in common or goblin? Uh, it's speaking in common. Where is owner How of many objects? Are... I was going to say, I, 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 I was going to ask how, how many of there, there, how many wherever you are from, there is of you. Uh, I, I guess fewer than twenty, I think. Oh. <laughs> As for the others, um, one of them got taken back, uh, and the dwarf and his map were sent to King Grohl. Uh, that's what we were told to do, at least. Do so we go where is this at? I know, you taste yummy. Do any of us have a map? It it's back at the Cragmaw Canyon. Uh, I I can take you. I wasn't talking to you quite yet, but good idea. Do any of us the Robot guy, Dragonborn, the giant Goliath, and the creepy whatever it is. No Do any of us have a map? I don't have a map, but I do have rope to keep him with us. I have rope. I well, don't though. think I want to leave it with you. <laughs> you don't have to leave it with me, but I have the I rope to climb up. I couldn't find my own way. <laughs> oh, no. All right. T tie it up. You know what? Can I just tie up this damn bard? He's getting in my way. <laughs> I mean, if you'd like, you can try. Hey, I've it's only got 50 camera, feet of rope, so go easy on it. Jesus. You right back? I, I don't think I want to know how you're going to tie me up. Alright, what do I need to roll to tie up this damn bard? I don't he think anything. What do I roll to tie up the bard? He's, he said he'd be he back. He said he'd be back. Did you pause the recording? All right. So, as you all have asked the about to questions, tie up the bard and throw him in the cart. Fair enough. <laughs> um. So, uh, if you would like to do that, do me a grappling check against the uh, bard. Um, do you want me to roll uh, athletics or acrobatics? Uh, contested uh, strength checks. Aww. So what just, to, it, just to just to be aware, one of you two is going to wind up chasing a goblin if he does this, because he's still got the goblin. Or the goblin gets tied up with me. Okay. So, I'm the one uh, with the rope. You, you guys can't just use my rope. <laughs> I mean, do you got? I believe that they have Dungeoneer's pack at least, or an Adventurer's pack, which I, comes I with hope. ten feet of I rope. rope. I have a Diplomat's pack. Oh, it's fifty. So feet you do rope not have rope. Though. No. So. so what no, we because with? I'm not that type of bard. Kinky. Um. So does that mean I have to do it? Oh lord. lord. If anyone's tying up anyone, as long as they have rope, which if Taz I, has rope, he can do it. Cool. 
points. I go nowhere without my gear. What am I rolling so, to tie this bard up and throw him in the car? Uh, your strength score. <laughs> Contested strength check. What did I ever do? So, let me find my damn... So, uh, 1d20 plus 0 because your modifier in strengths is a plus 0. Damn coward. 2. Alright, so just 1d20. Yes. Yeah, 1. 2? Uh, how much did you get? I got a 5th... You got a 6. And I got a 15. So 6. Okay, so unfortunately you are unable to wrangle the cow as uh, it just kind of carries the goblin by its neck as it starts to run away. Um, but the uh, goblin is still able to lead you guys if that's what you would like. I want to try to uh, double back to the paladin and have it tie up the goblin. Okay, so That's I it. should roll my strength then? I mean, I'd be holding the goblin in place while you tied the rope around. That is true. I mean, I am the one with the rope, so I mean, wouldn't I be the one? <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd be the one tying. I'm holding it still so it doesn't run. I need to leave call real quick because I cannot see roll 20. Okay. Okay. So, um, as you guys start figuring out, um, start tying it up in good stuff, um, can we get a marching order? I mean, I feel we'll go I back suppose... into the middle. I suppose I'll take the rear. Giggity. Giggity, giggity. Oh, you. Okay. Uh, anyone else uh, preferred place I'll in the marching order? Preferably in the middle for me. Okay, so, I can so you and the goblin quick... are also in the middle? Yeah, so I can do a quick cowbell ring and heal someone if I need to. Okay. And Damn. Will, where would you like to be? Um, I'll be with the uh, horses. Yeah. So you and the Goliath are up front, and oh wait, you're staying back with the horses. Yes. Okay. So as the rest of them begin to de depart into the woods with the goblin, uh, you stay back with the horses. Well, yeah, I gotta protect the gold, dude. <laughs> um, okay. Actually, uh, I could recommend hiding the horses. If you want to come along. You know what, I'll do that. Horses. I'll hide the horses and then I'll come along. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, sure. Please don't come on me. Oh god! <laughs> so as you guys, <laughs> as you guys, uh, lead the oxen away and tie them up where they aren't going to be stolen or ambushed, uh, you have the goblin lead you to how the goblins got to where they were. Cool. Oh. Um, you start traveling, and about ten minutes down, the uh, the goblin points towards this uh out of place um, lump of leaves and says to avoid stepping there as it steps around it and keeps walking. I'll um, follow it in its footsteps. Same. I mean, I'm assuming that I will be following it as well. Uh, they all are, being, all are being smart this time. Um, in about another ten minutes, it uh, walks around another bit of foliage that is out of place and says not to step there as well. Um, so, congratulations. You guys have made it towards 
to the first milestone and uh, get 75 XP each. Nice. So we need, what, 300 to level up? Did you say 75 or 78? I'm sorry. 75. I thought it was 69. Giggy. Huh. Seventy-five XP. Oh, a new map. Always. <clears throat> I like it. Okay. So, as you can tell, this map is a lot smaller. Anytime you guys use the roller to measure, uh, I will just double it. So, if the roller says 15 feet, turn it into 30 feet. Misa wishes he could hop. Oof. Um. Is there a tavern in town? I think I just lost roll 20. I do not know. Oh, that, wait, it's coming back, I think. Okay. Is my stream still good? So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Making sure everyone can still see roll 20. Oh. I lost the map on roll 20. Oh, there it is. You have to zoom out and find it. I found it. I gotta check on my kid. Um, I'll read through this real fast. Um, after following the goblin for a little while, you guys come across a cave in a hillside about five miles out from the scene of the ambush. Uh, a shallow stream flows down the center of the valley, and it's screened by dense briar thicket thickets. Um, it was a narrow, dry path on the right side leading into it. Be right back. So I'm hearing we send the Goliath in first with the paladin. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I was hearing too. <laughs> yeah. Anybody Maybe who has a high stealth. I we're walking into an ambush. Oh, I don't got good stealth. I'm just saying. That's my disadvantage. Uh, Sorry. I got, de I, I got decent stealth. Yeah, me and, the, me and the cowman could go. If necessary. But if you're looking at just storming their base, you're <laughs> probably... It's um, probably Quill's job. I put the Goliath in the pallet. I mean, yeah. I'm all brains. So, yeah, but you need your joints oiled. See, we still oh, in yeah. the camp. I'm gonna go all scuba diver and go in the river. Come in this, come in from the river. You know, they'll never see me coming. <laughs> what are you gonna be sliding yeah, in the back door? Oh yeah, <laughs> trying to go in for everyone. And this is why we're rated 18 plus. Hey, exactly. <laughs> Uh, it's not because of the bard. Yes. Um, so do me a favor and make me... Uh, well, the bard's fault, so... Make me some stealth checks. So question, I'm... are we going this three different ways? I'm going in through the... I'm straight up walking into the river and just walking up the stream. I, I'll go with the Aetherborn and sneak around. <laughs> I'm gonna dip with I, the cow, man. I don't breathe, and I weigh like I'm 300 pounds through. or something. Yeah, so you'll sink so, to the bottom. Yeah, so I can just walk perfectly fine, I'm assuming. I'm I wonder. Good. If I were to I remove my clothing, that. would I be able to pass as a regular cow? What is with <laughs> you in removing clothing? <laughs> this He's is the first time I've it's mentioned it. Okay? <laughs> it, it. It's his job to remove clothing. He's a bard. Okay. No, no, no. I, I was just thinking. By the way, for Asher. I, oh, yeah. Uh, I gotta do a self check. You got a mod 20. <clears throat> oh, God. You, you have it better. Do happened. a performance check to pretend to be a cow. Just do a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just rip off my clothing and just drop it on the floor and go, no. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have way better luck at the deception slash performance. Um, no. not really. My stealth Lucky is higher than either of those. Oh, Jesus. 
real livestock. Loki just a piece of livestock that decided to walk around and speak. I give up. <laughs> That's why I got a cowbell around my neck. <laughs> Moo! Um, Jesus. Connor, <laughs> would I, if I were to take my clothes off, could I pass as just a regular old cow? <laughs> it's like ah, oh, that's a thinker. Do me a high enough deception check. <laughs> oh. He just flunk the stealth roll to hide with Escher. Yeah, I'll just be Escher's pet cow. <laughs> okay, so who failed at uh me. sneaking? He did. With I what? disappeared into the mist. <laughs> <laughs> So what <laughs> I got an 18 deception. Okay. Um, what did everyone else I get on their stealth? Into... I am not going stealth. I am walking into the river. <laughs> you are just... The and... Where's the entrance of the cave, anyway? Upstream, oh, give me a I'm second. Assuming. Yeah. Charging upstream. through. So, because I don't need to breathe, and I weigh 300 pounds... I don't think they'll see me come and just casually walking upstream at the bottom of the stream. Except for the fact that it's a shallow stream. Oh, it's shallow? Oh, well, it's oh, you're Army crawl. You're walk straight into them. Just okay. army crawl. Wait, how tall am I? Oh, I'm 6'2". Is it... How, how Why do I not have to I stand? Uh, let me put it this way. Uh, you got probably your shins in water. Ah. Uh. So you going stealthy with us or charging in? Isn't it too late? Didn't he already walk? Yeah, I'm charging I'm in. Yeah, in he, he's gonna have to charge. Oh well. Oh, my cheeks hurt from smiling so much. He's charging. You guys can ambush for me. I'll be the distraction. I'm gonna flank to the top of the map where those group of trees Oops. are. And I have a good shot with my poison. Nice. Um, I'm gonna remain hidden and just okay. oh, shoot, wait, kill wait, my no, way we behind. We do a rest if that's the case. So I can't use my poison. It's okay. I have my mace or my. I'm just a cow. <laughs> so they pull up their bows and they see a cow. They think Boo. it's a cow. Boo. Just bend my head down and Goliath. munch on some grass. Goliath, As I'm walking up looks. Screen, I'm gonna pick up three rocks. And then they see the giant metal thing walking towards them. Ah. Nothing conspicuous here. Uh. Hey, Peter. Nice cock. Hey, Peter. Nice hey, cock. Peter. Uh. Nice cock. And then just me and back, I'm just munching on grass, mooing occasionally, as slowly the my way goblins over. open fire. I can't oh, move no. Escher, so. Are they open firing on me? Or unstealthy robot boy? The... Stealthy uh, robot boy. It's just hey, marching towards them. I'm, ass I'm assuming I'm here, just walking up, right? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Can I casually bend down to pick up a couple rocks? Sure. Oh, thank you. Lord. I hope they don't get a bullseye when you do that. No, I think they miss when I do that. <laughs> Take five Yo, Connor, damage gonna... as the blunted arrow pings off your head, leaving a nice dent. I take five damage. Sheesh. I, I'm just. While this is happening, I'll just be slowly making my way to those goblins. Making my way downtown. <laughs> as inconspicuously as possible. There's a 15 uh, hit. A 15 hit me? No, the other guy. Okay. I'll uh, on me? Tyler, yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Isn't he dead? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, technically, since I have no, since I have no clothing, wouldn't it just be a straight tin? Yeah, yeah. Ten plus if you're not wearing anything, yeah. so he's dead. 
Uh, take seven damage as an arrow embeds itself into your hide. Can I charge in yet? I, I'm just going to moo loudly and try to bolt away. <laughs> moo! Limping badly because I'm on one. <laughs> oh, uh, make me a constitution saving throw. Moo cow don't like this. <laughs> Yeah, opportune time to tell you I can't move my token, and there's a second token that has appeared. That is true. Jesus. And it's Did seven. You... <laughs> You're multiplying. It's the aether seven? telling you to multiply and divide. Jesus. <sighs> um. So as the arrow embeds itself, uh, you feel a huge shock of pain just echo through your body. As you just kind of collapse from the sheer, uh, this the sheer impact of it. Congratulations, you are now unconscious. <laughs> Bye, uh, cow. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be steak yet. <laughs> can can I sneak to the uh, to the area that the arrows are coming from? Uh, yes. Since I had the twenty. Alright, uh, go ahead and move me, since I can't move. You just moved you, didn't you? No, I moved the giant me. Okay, I'll, here, I'll just shrink the giant you. Oh, cool. I mean, well, how, how is there two of him? Time to pop over know. to the, del the Death Save channel. <laughs> Please don't die, cow. I actually enjoy there, can you move presence. that? Yeah, now I can move. move. Thank you. Okay, so any measurements Sneaking are doubled brush, on this map? through the brush. Approximately how long would that take me? You were what, here? Right, give me a second. Yeah. 20 feet, so... I'd be 40 feet there, so you would... Right here would be the end of your turn, this corner right here. Even if I dash? Well, no, if you dash, it's a 60 foot, because it doubles your movement. <coughs> Can I dash in stealth? Uh, I do not believe so. Okay. Um, then I'll just take as close as I can get to the arrows, which from where I'm at is what, 20? Yeah, yes. 15. I don't know, somewhere along there. I'd like to move in. And from my 15, sh should I attack or should I just hide? That's up to you. I don't have a pardon the pun, a cow in this race right now. I see, I see. Yeah, he has a lot All of right. stuff. Alright, um, if that took my full movement, I think I'll remain hidden until things get ugly. Er. I mean, the only healer is knocked out right now. Yeah, but I have self-heals, so I'm good. Oh, I'm just gonna start thinking up character ideas. <laughs> Do you have a lot at stake? Oh, man, that hurt. That Arby's, hurt me. You have the beef. <laughs> you know Arby's makes its food out of, like, gelatinous slabs, right? All yeah, fast food does. Fine. It's gross. Okay, so what's everybody doing? Because I just took a, a blunted arrow to the face. You took an arrow to the face. I Escher is in the woods beside the goblins watching them. I'm the only one that hasn't moved yet. Because if no one is doing anything or coming like up to, with anything, oh, wait, where am I? I'm 100% fire bolting the forest. You? Right here. I'm just going hey. to charge at them as close as I can get. <laughs> well. Can I go ahead and roll initiative to enter combat? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Everyone, roll for initiative. You just want me to do that in my I death save channel? Hmm? You? No, you're not, you're you're not dying. You're just He's good old fashion unconscious. Oh, I'm just knocked out? Yeah. yeah you're oh. HP. Your system went into shock from taking so much damage in so little time. <laughs> so, should I still just roll initiative? Sure. Go for it. You can still be waking up. Uh, 
I rolled a 10. 21. 11. 21. Okay, Asher sure is quick. 15, or 17. Okay. The knocked out guy got a higher one. <laughs> I roll over quick quicker than you move. For Probably. <laughs> I mean, I am 300 pounds, so I'm just girthy, just rolling, Twinsies. rolling, rolling. We're both 300 pounds. Yeah, but I'm better looking. So one uh, I'm an 8 foot dragonborn that's 250. My Makes no 1d20 sense. plus 6. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. God damn. So barbarian boy oh. going first. So the Goliath charges I'm into a battle. Fighter, not a barbarian. Okay, as the Goliath fighter mm. charges into battle. Uh you are up in their face. What would you like to do? Beat the hell out of them. With both Ooh. hands. I Hell yeah, man! <laughs> really, Connor? That <laughs> hand gesture. <laughs> okay, so, so you're going left. swinging at the one on your left. All right, uh, make an attack roll for me. Make a what? I... Attack roll. Just looking is like, uh, okay. I just wanted to live my life munching on grass, no. being nude. So that unfortunate. You were having fun and enjoying it until you got knocked out. You came to the wrong neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> uh so unfortunately, your attack misses. Bard, here we get away. Yeah, that he does. My plate. Um, so next up would be Ashen or Asher. Here we'll jump from the shadows and ambush the main uh, guy in front of him with his dark gift attack. Okay, so you giggity it's your smorgasbord. Do me a favor and roll damage. <laughs> Did you really say you giggity? It's your smorgasbord. That sounds like something you would say to a bard. And I would be talking to the Bard, but he's unconscious right now. If it doesn't drop from that, I'm going to do the extra two flurry attack. Okay. No, no, my luck. I'll wind up getting giggity to my smorgasbord all knocked out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just rolled that one wrong. It's a plus six, not a plus three. All I'm saying is, boys, I am the machine. Oh, 13. So the I extra am. blows are a 12 and a 13. Okay, I, so what was your first one? You did I damage. did two damage necrotic. And then the extra two attacks were a 12 and a 13 to okay. hit. So your extra two miss, but that uh, Fair enough. two damage does go through. That was the one closest to you, correct? Yeah, closest goblin. Okay. So as you punch, its skin kind of blackens and the veins constrict on where your hand uh, contacted. Um, who is next in initiative order? I believe it was me, because I rolled an 11. Yeah, I, I rolled... Last. I mean, I, I got out. higher than Quilzy. Okay, yeah, so... You're out. <laughs> sleepy boy. Roll me a constitution save. <laughs> cool. Me. Commit yes. to big sleep. Not twenty. Okay. So your eyes flicker open and you kinda of have that like what just happened feeling wash over you and realize there is a very large arrow sticking out of your leg. <laughs> I'm not medic I'm not medic acknowledged. Um not really anything I can do. <laughs> uh, but how many feet away am I from any of the goblins? You're pretty uh. far. <laughs> You're pretty far, man. I was going to say a good 40 feet. 
Oh, that that's vicious mockery range. Um, what one has everyone been attacking? Uh, well, my character wouldn't know this. Successfully hit. Yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll try to vicious mockery the closest one to me. Okay. And just let out a guttural scream of terror. <laughs> There's Flash. <laughs> Poor little creature. You scream, and the goblin looks at you and knocks another arrow. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting ready to shut you up. I'm gonna guess run, it passed. Run, run, run! <laughs> I'm gonna guess it passed with the 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 game. Game. Oh, yeah! Um, am I close enough to hide behind any of the par other party members? <laughs> nope. Uh, nope. Okay, well, well, I'll try maybe. to make it. Oh, I was gonna say he might be able to hide behind me. Yeah, you Logan. can hide. You can hide behind him or Logan because they're only about ten or, feet out, so twenty feet. Or would I be able to make it into the, a tree line away from the goblins? Yeah, if he went down. That's forty feet, and that one is thirty feet out. So yes. Okay, the thirty feet one I will run to. Because of one of my flaws? <laughs> run like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, Even though I turn tail and run when things look bad. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> you now benefit from partial cover while running away like a bitch. <laughs> yep. And then I'll just duck and cover. <laughs> Alright, so it's my turn now? <laughs> yes. Alrighty, so I'm going to attack the top goblin, the one that has the least amount of damage done to him. Okay, so you go and swing into the one the Goliath is fighting? Yes. What would you like to do? I'm going to attack him with my Morning Star. Okay, so do an attack roll. We got a 13. Alright, so that does miss as your morning star clashes down to the dirt beside him, puffing up a plume of smoke. Um, brings us back to top initiative? No, to, brings us no, to Charles. goblins. Oh, Charles, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not important. I see how it is. He forgot it, all it's thanks to him, I nearly fine. died. And Tin Man was always forgotten, let's be honest. I mean, <laughs> we got Tin Man. I'm the Cowardly Lion. I suppose I shall back up towards the Cowardly Island and attempt to heal him. So your steak will... just ran off into the forest? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do me a survival check to search for him. Ah, oh, survival. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> We're screwed. Oh, God, Peter. Uh... Guys, I'm just letting you know I might get lost. <laughs> Can't I be worse than me. <laughs> I, I yeah. got a two. You got a two? So, yeah. If I could move you to your own little part of the map, I would. But congratulations, you were lost in the woods. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, at the moment, at the point that I realized I got lost, I'm going to sit down take one of my pebbles and make it into a glowing rock and just sit there with it. <laughs> that rock. All around me are familiar faces. I'm just gonna sit there and just whenever it's my turn, I'm just gonna keep tossing the rock, playing with it, trying to juggle with it, you know? <laughs> Wait, Meanwhile, I'm just my, running as far away as I can. <laughs> Eventually, you could catch up with two of them. Um, the goblins, uh, spend their action on turn, um, as you approach, uh, they th throw their bows down to the ground beside them as they draw out their, uh, scimitars. Unfortunately, that takes their action for turn. Oh, really? Take Cowboy don't want to be made in stake yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, back up the top of rotation. Is it my turn? Yes. Yes. I'd like to take the goblin to my left and just yeet it as far as I can. Uh, 
a strength check for Contessa to drap- grapple real quick? I just remembered something. Hmm. What about that goblin we had tied up? All right. So D20 plus my strength modifier. What happened to him? <laughs> we lost him? Yes. 1D20. <laughs> yeah, I yep. didn't think about it when I stripped down. Wait, I thought he was tied up to you. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have a plus one modifier. So it, is that how I got stabbed by an arrow? Do I have a plus one modifier on my phone? Uh, Maybe. No, if your thing is... Uh, if you have a strength of ten, you do not. Wait, does okay, that mean I just dragged a... Did I just drag a goblin around in terror? <laughs> yes. See how far I can eat this thing. I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> so far, he... Nope. So this is a classic image of kindergartners fighting as they begin to slap each other and trying to grapple one another. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you are not able to get your hands wrapped back? around it. Yeah, what do you want to do with it? The barbarian Goliath. Uh, you cannot pick up a goblin. <sighs> the Minotaur Bard what a that can't do shit. Oh, you stuck it when? He's worse than the filet mignon. Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> See if I be your wingman. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, uh, you're using your, um... What were you using? Your second wind? Yes. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll that. Uh, I don't think... Did you take any damage? No. I don't believe so. No. Then there would be no point in taking your second wind right now, because it wouldn't heal you anything. I think I took some the last round, though, the, uh, the last encounter. Oh, okay. There you go. For a second, I thought he was talking about Axe and Surge. Yeah, no, that's the third level ability. So, with D10. Yeah. D10. Oh. And then, plus your constitution modifier, I believe. I don't know. Um, oh, my constitution. I mean, either way, you're back up to full HP. Weave people. Sweet. <laughs> All around me are people with steak knives. You're gonna be a good sirloin tonight. Give Lots me that thirty-two of steak ounce steak sauce. The issue or the A one with a side of. Roasted potatoes. So you are back up to full HP, and then it moves on to uh, next turn. As the Goliath lets out a roar and suddenly feels more energized. He took steroids. Of course, they always roid rage is going <laughs> judo on the goblin's face. All right, so we got judo over Just here. That mountain rage boy. Nothing. The first one. Nothing the second one. I just screwed up that roll again because I'm a retard. So Tyler, oh, I'm gonna bleep that you're... out. Fuck that. We're already demonetized. <laughs> when <laughs> would we good. ever be monetized? <laughs> Twenty four. That hits. So what did you guess I was gonna do? Oh, I, I thought you were willingly taking the uh, fear uh, condition. I was just going to keep on running in a random direction. Uh, same. I am a fucking I've coward. <laughs> Cowardly okay. lion. So you deck this motherfucker as it, uh, it its face just kind of caves in under the sheer force of your hand. Uh, and I'll look at the blood for a second, wipes it off. Yeah. Slimy. 
with its body crumbles, its brain no longer active from the amount of pain that it just went through. Um, that being said, next in initiative order. Uh, so that's me again. That is uh, Tyler. Um, Roll me a d8. I was just about to say, how many directions are there? Yeah, there are eight directions. I counted this too, because I was going to make you do the same thing anyway. <laughs> I, I just feel like it'd be hilarious if I ran over Tron. That'd be kind of just funny, roll, but also roll me a d8. because he'd be the only one that could really heal you. Eight. Yeah, but I was just so, thinking, knowing my luck, I'd run him over, trip, and injure myself. <laughs> you die? Yeah. <laughs> you, take that, you take that one damage? Okay. So you sprint, and you actually do end up uh, passing by Tron. You do not hit him, though. I'm just screaming the entire way. Ah! Alright. Naked Minotaur just goes flashing by Tron. I take it that I noticed this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very much so. You're you're very disturbed the and intrigued. You just uh, see the pen. You just see a pendulum of Minotaur schlong lipping back and forth as it runs past <laughs> your vision. It looks like that intro scene on Attack on Titan when the Titans are just running in. All right, so. You you I'm might need to go to a state asylum. <laughs> I'm gonna attack with my uh, morning star again on that goblin that's in front of me. Go ahead and swing. Man, it's really fun to play a cowardly character. I rolled another 13. <laughs> you swing this motherfucker like a baseball bat, and guess what? You swing too high and go over its head. <laughs> By how much? Hey, Batamata! Hey, Batamata! Swing! <laughs> Yeet! I just Can't throw my no morning way. star. I just throw it out the way. I mean, are you just gonna eat it? You can. I won't stop you. I'm not eating my morning star. Because <laughs> I, mean, I, I could... have to go find it. I mean, I could use my fleshy morning star. Uh, so stoic, you you have minotaur dick ingrained in your eye sockets. <laughs> you accidentally called him stoic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Tron, you got minotaur dick in your eye sockets now. Uh, well, I'm assuming I know where this this pile of man meat is at now. <laughs> Currently quivering behind a tree to your right. I'm gonna walk over to him. I'm gonna give him a, a big old slap and gas <laughs> cure wounds on him. Oh, shit. <sighs> this is way too entertaining. Uh, do me a favor and roll your rolls. I know. I have to <sighs> get it up on my phone again. The last campaign cannot be compared to this one, I'm just saying. Nope. <laughs> I think it's just the added benefit of more people. Well, that and the commentary that we've just had in the last 20 yeah. minutes. Schling, schlong, the Minotaur dong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that... Go ahead and heal 10 damage. You can feel a clap on your ass cheek <laughs> as you suddenly feel oh, yeah. better and something pushing itself out of your leg. Max Zero drops to the ground beneath. Your fight's not over yet. Wait, where's where's the goblin <laughs> that was attached to you? Uh, yeah. What well, happened to the you little... wrangle a goblin <laughs> and leave it? Did it, did he lose the goblin? Well, the, uh, to quote him exactly, I'm taking everything mm -hmm. off and pretending to be a cow. So that rope was taken off. <laughs> so where did he put it? <laughs> <laughs> It's anal beads now. Why did the goblin go while you guys were distracted with the fight? That's the question. Wait, what if he just yeah. stayed put? What if he didn't do anything? Is he's just intrigued in seeing a naked minotaur running away? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, lord. I hand this man my common clothes that I have on me. 
<laughs> so now you're naked. <laughs> I'm a robot. I'm always naked. <laughs> oh, you want to see my nuts and bolts? You just have to ask. <laughs> Jesus Problem. Christ. Your clothes are probably too big for me. I'm five. I'm six two. I'm five foot. That's fine. You'll grow into them. I'm sure you can five foot to grow. <laughs> just cast enlarge on myself. Casually. Oh lord. Yeah. All right. Eat the next goblin. initiative order. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh lord. I seriously hope Back I don't roll another top. 13. It is your go, Trulzar. Yes, Solaire. Uh, it is your turn. Oh, Solaire. Oh, it's my turn? Yes. I'm going to swing at the goblin closest to me. What else, Godfather? Okay. Uh, do me a favor and make your attack roll. I'm assuming I'm you do an offer you can't refuse. I'm having merch ideas just because of the crap I've said. Jesus Christ. We aren't even <laughs> famous enough to have merch. Not yet, at least. But, but just think of someone wearing a hoodie or shirt that says Ding Dong the Minotaur Schlong. With Why, your we face just... right underneath the caption? <laughs> we could just make a giant minotaur with a clock tower hanging between his legs. With his head, with with his, with his a picture of his head on the minotaur. Oh, so this is our first impression on the world. Yep. <sighs> um, did you make your attack roll? I, I'm gonna die. Ah. <laughs> uh, Liar, did you do your attack roll yet? Pass. Oh, me? Yeah. What's it, D6 plus 6? Uh, 1D20 uh, plus 6, yes. Okay, I'm back to intellectual bard. <laughs> Logan just looks at me. Danger. <laughs> Logan just looks at me like, no, you're not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Where's my filet mignon, man? <laughs> okay, so that does hit. As you uh, bring your scimitar down, it just bury it into the shoulder of the goblin. Um, roll yes. me damage, please. Logan. Yeah. Your filet mignon is in Tron's pants. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I don't want that filet mignon, man. Not anymore. Diggity. It's nice and juicy. <laughs> uh, I think Tron is having more fun with it than I would have. <laughs> sure has left the building. <laughs> hey, I asked the man to jump into my pants. I didn't ask him to do anything else. That you know of? <laughs> it's all about context sense. clues. Okay, so your damage roll, uh, oh. Tron, or not Tron, uh, I, I am not attacking. <laughs> I, I just want it known, towards... I did not consent to getting slapped in my booty cheeks. Are you going to sue him? Uh, yep. Solaire, you, uh, your damage roll for your scimitar. It's 1d6 plus uh, strength mod, I believe. Or dex mod. Or dex mod, yeah, versatile. So I would use your dex mod. One d six. One d six plus four. Five six. Yeah, four. What am I doing? I feel like this has been a great nice. first episode. <laughs> so you, as you bring down your scimitar, cleaving into his shoulder, it just slices through like a bread and uh, bread knife through butter as. This goblin just splits down the middle, falling in two pieces. Yes. Needless to say, goblin is a good type of dead. Oh, I 
I just thought of another pun. When Goblin dies, fun. Ezra's just gonna be like, where did everyone go? And start looking for the other two. You hear screams of a bovine in the forest uh, that are quickly quelled by the noise of kinks in the distance. <laughs> by any chance, do I... Can I tell where this... There's loud noise is coming from. Yeah, right next to you. Oh. I thought it was the goblin in shrieking of fear <laughs> of the minotaur slug it just saw. <laughs> and the minotaur's going to walk off. into the forest looking for them. Oh, shit. And see if he can find them and or the goblin. Oh, Honestly, okay. If he finds me, I'll be staying there twiddling with my glowy rocks. Well, I just um, rock back and forth. <laughs> uh, survival check to track him down in the woods. If this um, episode is not titled Minotaur Slong. Oh, shit. Uh, as for the two others that are staying outside, Logan and Tez, what are you all doing? Uh, are those goblins still alive or are they dead? Because I don't see their right, workers they, anymore. Uh, those are good types of dead. The one's cleaved in two, and the other one's face got punched in. Wait, there's a bad type of dead? I got a nat 23. Yeah, the undead. On finding <laughs> those two. But that's yeah, and or the goblin. Living. You just casually and, walk in. And yeah, or the go, goblin. Yeah, I'm going to go casually help out and find them. Uh, the goblin, to your knowledge, is nowhere to be found around them. No, just All right, so... looking. Why are you two in the woods? What? What happened? So we find them. Bad poke, bad poke. We find you. No, scary. no, no scary. I do bad touch. He, ho he holds up a hand. No, only I bad touch. Long I'll just sure. get very <laughs> big bug eyed. <laughs> Wait, does the Alphonse with no weight hand expression? <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. No touch, no touch. Uh, are you guys heading into the woods to meet up with them, Tez? Uh, or... I guess Asher will try to get them to go out of the woods or at least to somewhere safe. Uh, you guys are lagging like I'm going to go find that missing goblin and then catch up. Yeah. Catch up, is that some type of sauce? What way did you head, Logan? Uh, back to where we originally started at uh, on the other side of the river. Sploosh. Sploosh, sploosh, fizz, fizz. I get um, so bad. Connor, your webcam is sideways. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Looks like you're playing some Twister. Dude, over there or He's playing <laughs> Twister. I got stuck in the river this somehow. <laughs> you guys ever listen to the song Twister? Okay, so. Oh. oh, we just lost Taz. Oh no. Wait, uh. Um, I th I need to leave real quick. Is everyone is? Oh nope. I'm getting movement back. Okay, everybody's back now. Well, oh. where's Connor? Welcome so these are the disabilities of playing virtually. Yeah. It was fun, fun, fun till the daddy takes the T bird away. I thought you were gonna say the Minotaur Schlong away. Aww. It was fun, fun, fun until the Minotaur Schlong got put away. You don't know the song. Don't. I don't know the song, but I don't care. That was funny. It's from the Beach Boys. Hey, I know the Beach Boys. Beach Boys? It was fun. I'm gonna fun, file a screw the, the Beach the Boys. I, I don't like that band. I don't like the Beatles either, so if you're gonna hate it, hate it. <laughs> I the Beatles only like had like good two, two, like two good songs. I maybe heard like two Beatles songs. Okay, so now that now that my computer's not having a feature. Uh, 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 feedback from somewhere. Uh, what's going on? Hey, everybody's dipping. Bit. Hey, I don't like when people double dip, so please stop. Hey, hey I don't like when people. 
that echo. Pardon me, it was um, a minotaur. Wow. So, Logan, you made your way down towards where you entered, and uh, you get a survival check? Want to track down the goblin? Eclipse, your screen got a little dark. I'm assuming that's my uh, 1d20 plus my survival. I got a 21. Okay. Uh, you notice that there are tracks running from where you got it. Uh, we're standing forward to eat. Eclipse slur. We're getting the antenna uh, flag. flag. Okay, uh, your your audio sounds like a robot right now. Yo, Deceptatron, can you please uh slow it down? Deceptron, uh, Taz, you're having a feedback. Taz, you're having a feedback. Taz, leave calls and rejoin. It's like, should I pause? Yeah, go ahead and pause. So, you guys... Wait, are we paused? Hey guys, this is Escher. Uh, we'll see you next episode. Uh, if you were wondering what happened to the party, we all went and took a short rest to recuperate before we're going to head off into the caverns next episode. Thank you all for coming, and you guys have a good night!